Hi there, welcome back to Stellaris Snail Wars. And, um, <laughs> yeah, let's make the galaxy safe again this time with some ship designs. Because we have gotten a lot of, a lot of new, um, yeah, a lot of new weapons. Among them the focused arc emitter disruptor, some kind of missiles, maybe no, new torpedoes here. So, um, we'll mix it up. We have a lot of new things, so. Um, of course, the Corvette is akin to using it as a torpedo boat. So that's definitely what we're doing here. So we're giving them missiles and torpedoes. They have similar range and it, uh, the torpedo boat has one torpedo slot, so uh, that should be good. Afterburners are also really good in, in Corvettes. Same is true for shields, of course. The power is uh, now much better. And um, yeah, we still have the precognitive interface that also increases our combat speed. Very nice. And we have something else too. We have advanced afterburners now. Much more power usage, but look at that. Combat speed plus 50%. <laughs> wow. We have a combat speed of 4. That should be <laughs> extremely good. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have <laughs> a lot of shield penetration here with our torpedoes. We'll have very, very good shell class uh, corvettes now. Now let's go for the next, the duck snail class. Let's see what we can do here. We could go for large slots. Um, and we'll probably do that. Could go for the defensive slots too, but mm, I think we will use them as offensives. Large gamma laser is still pretty good. So, um... Yeah, I think we're just going to use that and um, the Gauls autocannon. I mean, we could combine to the large Ripper autocannon. Hmm. I mean, this has 70. Has 65. What about the medium? Autocannon has 65 also. Uh, the large has 85. This large has 60. That wouldn't be bad as well. I mean, ignoring 20% of armor. 12 damage. We have 14 damage here. Accuracy is 76%, tracking 10. Uh, yeah, I think it might just be better than the large gamma laser. Of course, this will profit from the advanced afterburners too. A lot. A really a lot. Um, we also have some some free kind of thing here. Where we'll put some armor in, I think. Yeah, the rest of the ship is pretty up to date, so... This is our duck snail class, upgraded. <laughs> now with rippers and gorse cannons. Very nice. So we have a torpedo boat. We have, um, yeah, <laughs> the gorse cannons, so the particle boat. Now we have the guard or shell class, a cruiser. Let's see what we have here available. We could give them torpedoes too. What I, I think I don't want to do that. Um, we could now go for maybe laser. Like laser would be good. So I think this is still the perfect combination of weapons we have here. Um, we have the shield capacitors that are pretty good. We could maybe add in. I mean, look at that. We have pretty high shields. I think we'll just leave the Gardor class as that. Gardor shell class. We could maybe increase the damage, but this is a pretty good combination. Like the, 
the gamma lasers and the Gauss cannons. On the other hand, we have seen that in in reality, probably the the Ripper auto cannons are better than the lasers. So. Yeah, there is that, right? Uh, we might just go for that and have a lot more damage. And also more power. Could leave that. Get a hyper shield here. Ah, uh, it's not enough for a large hyper shield, but maybe a medium will do with a large reactor. And another medium hyper shield, not. <laughs> not really. Mm. Yeah, the large reactors are pretty good. Shield capacitors, uh, the advanced shields maybe. Yeah, if we put in one advanced shield now. Let's have a look. Yeah, on the other hand, some armor would probably be better. Adding 7%. Advanced shields adding 140. These adding 210. And 7% of 1,600 would be uh, around 100, right? I mean, 70 plus 40, 115 something. Yeah, I mean, the advanced shields would be better. So this is going to be pretty good. It's a little slow, maybe, from the combat speed. Only has two, but if it's in range, it will wreck everything. And it has it has time to get in range because of the extremely good shields. So there's that. Then let's let's have a look at the Nautilon's power. We have the spinal mount bow now. For the advanced components here and we'll see now what we can do of course yeah we we want the the high damage weapons let's see the focused arc emitters are pretty great the average damage is not so high but look at the accuracy and tracking that's going to be awesome then we've got the hangar core we have level three of these, but uh, I think we should go for high range now because we have the focused arc emitter. Yeah, we still haven't, haven't good enough uh, fighters. So, might just go for more large slots and the artillery stern. What is close to that range, though? 110. This thing has 80. These have 90. Hmm. Yeah, these have 85. Maybe some kind of mix of Marauder missiles and um, particle cannons. Some missiles, some cannons. Hmm. Yeah, we are getting away from the lasers because they are really not that good. We should have better disruptors. Then we would use these probably for their high shield damage. But yeah, the large Marauder missiles are it, right? Mm hmm. 
90 is is really something to beat. They have 12 damage. And these have 14 damage and ignoring armor. Much less accuracy and tracking though. So yeah, we're going we're going for that. Let's let's try that. Let's test that. And we have 2400 hull points. So what would be good to have? The regenerative hull tissue, maybe, would be good on the big ships. One time this thing. And they have 2% monthly hull regen. On the other hand, that doesn't help us survive a combat, right? Um, it wouldn't be that good until after the combat. And that's really not... We want to survive the combat better. After that, we can always repair. So... Hmm... There's something to it that we use rather... Um, not really advanced afterburners, because we don't need them with a the range. Rather go for shield capacitors. And a nice mix of zero-point reactors. And shields. Let's see. Uh, and now that's too much, that's too little. Maybe the rest with armor. Dearest steel armor. So now we have a pretty high armor. Pretty good shields. We have a high regeneration rate of the shields. And we have a really high range of 90. And uh, this thing even goes to 110, the focused arc emitter. So that's the Nautilon's power class. Whoa, <laughs> I love it. Uh, we should probably rename it to something else because it has so many missiles. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Nautilons, I know I don't know. Hmm. And Nautilons power is still good. Because it shows the power of Nautilon, right? <laughs> With that. It has a very low combat speed. <laughs> but look at what a high damage it has. A sixty one damage and it's quite a tank. This has 42 damage, so it's quite efficient. 21 damage, still good. And this is also a really good damage dealer. So we're going for high damage. Yeah, and there we are. We have the protectors of the inner shell ready to be upgraded. For 4,900. <laughs> That's going to be incredibly hard. <gasps> crazy <laughs> let's see let's do that we'll upgrade so what else could we do in this episode mm, yeah it's it's not going to be much of a going forward episode well, we'll just spend our minerals very well seekers of nautilon sector needs some stuff Vita prime needs some of the energy credits And what are the other guys doing? Hmm. At the moment, nothing. We wanted to look at the spaceports too, at Nautilon's outpost. Let's have a look at the spaceport. Yeah, going for the upgrade here. And Nautilon's horizon. Also going for the upgrade, very nice. What else would we have here in 
in our planet. Not that much. <laughs> I mean, the crew quarters are basically for free, right? They haven't got some maintenance. So you can always put them in. Engineering Bay Observatory has some maintenance. Yeah, we can just put some crew quarters in there. Wherever we need them. Because they'll bring down the upkeep a bit. And they cost really not much. There we go. So, next, let's look at the relations. No, relations are still pretty good. We have the trade deals going. We haven't got trade deals with the space roaches though. Maybe let's change that. We would be interested in a new research agreement. Would you like minerals? Dear roaches, we would like this for 30 years if that's possible. I'm not interested in energy. Ah, that's a little costly, right? We'll have to wait for that. And we have the Gox Dominions. Um, offer a trade deal. Uh, we would like to exchange star charts, but that seems not to be possible. Yeah, they are just... Goxy, masters of the material plane. Do you come to ask for spiritual guidance or to give orders? They are xenophiles, militarists and spiritualists. Yeah, I mean... Hmm. <laughs> President Maxadoc, the champion of the people from the ranks. Isn't too bad, but we'll have to work to expand this maybe. And we would rather expand our own empire. So there is that. Now we could build more ships. What ships would we build? We have seven battleships, 22 cruisers, 25 cruisers. We have a lot of corvettes. Um, we should build some battleships probably. Some battleships, yeah. <laughs> Uh, one battleship and um, like a corvette or something but not not yet not yet a corvette let's continue a little bit is there something happening soon no so um yeah i know this was a lot of um, ship building and stuff but it i think it it is pretty interesting to compare that and uh, to go for the best ships possible. I'm not sure I built the best ships possible, but it's certainly an improvement about the other ships we had. And let's let's have a look. How long will this need? <laughs> wow, it will need about two years. <laughs> That's really crazy. But um, we'll be able to declare war on the wall at 2366 and that's also what we will do so um, that we gain maybe the evil system and some of these systems so that we may have access to Hodranus so first thing we want to have is Uldor and the rest is um, open for interpretation. <laughs> so I'd say thank you for watching, happy gaming to you, and see you in the next episode of Snail Wars where we'll have a lot more action when we make the galaxy safe again. Happy gaming to you.